Hello, D23, and welcome to our studio spectacular. I know. Today, we're talking about everything we're creating for the biggest of screens, the movie theater. Watching, yay, watching a, yay, watching a great story unfold on a 40 to 60 to 80 foot screen, surrounded by fellow fans, as we're experiencing right now, is truly an immersive and communal experience. Every generation has a legend. Star Wars is home to more than one, and I'm thrilled to invite a couple of them to join me on the stage today. The first is someone we are so fortunate to have as our Yoda of the Star Wars today, Kathy Kennedy, president of Lucasfilm. And and producer of every Star Wars film <clears throat> we've done at Disney. Powerful she is. Please welcome, <laughs> and wait, when we have joining her, filmmaker extraordinaire, and the writer-director of Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> and of course, The Force Awakens, J.J. Abrams. Abrams. Yay, please welcome Kathy and JJ. One of the great experiences that we had on this movie was, of course, working with our incredible cast. Let's meet them now. Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, Oscar Isaac, Kelly Marie Tran, Yona Sutamo, Naomi Aki, Kerry Russell, Anthony Daniels, and Billy D. Williams. What's up? She was good on it. And BB-8, R2-D2, and Geo. <laughs> Hello, D23, what's going on? <laughs> Marvel Studios steps into a new realm after the resolution of the Infinity Saga. With these 23 interconnected films, Marvel Studios has achieved something truly unprecedented. And leading the charge is the man with the hat. <laughs> the baseball hat, of course. Kevin Feige is the president of Marvel Studios and the producer of every single one of these 23 films. He's just so very talented. Kevin, come on out. Good morning, D23. Good morning. So I've been trying to think, we need to give you some new news. Something, something new, something definitive, but I'll be honest with you, I can't think of what to do right now. So I thought I'd bring a friend of mine out who could, together we'll decide what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, the co-writer, the director, of the only Marvel Studios film ever to be nominated for Best Picture, Ryan Coogler. You're the greatest. So, now let's talk about a film that's coming out in November of next year about a group of immortals created by Disney legend Jack Kirby in a film we call The Eternals. Now this is, we have assembled a giant cast for you in this. This story spans thousands of years. We pull back the cosmic curtain on the MCU in ways you can't imagine. You want to meet The Eternals? All right, ladies and gentlemen, as Icarus, Richard Madden. Playing the eternal Kingo, Kumail Nanjani. Oh. 
as the fastest Eternal there is, Makari, Lauren Ridloff. We've got as fastos, the amazing Brian Tyree Henry. Let me introduce you to the leader of the Eternals, Ajax, played by Salma Hayek. And playing an Eternal that is eternally stuck in a 12-year-old body, even though she's 7,000 years old, Leah McHugh as Sprite. As the powerful Gilgamesh, Don Lee. And as the warrior Athena, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> now, I want to introduce you. There's a new Eternal, a new Eternal named Druig, played by the great Barry Keoghan. And believe it or not, that's not all. As our final eternal, Cersei, we have Gemma Chan, who is... <laughs> and I can also confirm, playing a non-eternal character in this film named Dane Whitman is Mr. Kit Harrington. This one is big. Our director, Chloe Zhao, is in London getting ready to work, but I really wanted you to meet, ladies and gentlemen, our Eternals. Please welcome the driving force behind Disney live action slate, Sean Bailey. Hakuna Matata. Hello, D23 Expo, and thank you, Alan. Hi, everybody. We're going to have some fun. From a wild carpet ride to a wild river ride, we have gone deep into the jungles to find the inspiration for one of our next big adventures. In fact, we've gone all the way to the backside of water in Jungle Cruise. Thank you. Of course, as you know, Jungle Cruise takes its cue from the beloved park's attraction, but like Pirates of the Caribbean, it will sail into a world all of its own on the big screen. Frank is the charismatic skipper of a dubious-looking riverboat called L'Aquila, from which he runs a sightseeing business that may or may not be totally above board. Frank is approached by a determined scientist and explorer, Dr. Lily Houghton, who hires him to take her downriver on a dangerous mission. Of course, since they're polar opposites, this sets the stage for a freewheeling adventure filled with unexpected twists, over-the-top comedy, and most of all, star power. Ladies and gentlemen, Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt. Maleficent Mistress of Evil is the follow-up to 2014's Maleficent, which explored the motivations behind one of the greatest Disney villains of all time. Director Joachim Roning of Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, bring the brings the magical moors to life as we delve deeper into this rich world of which we've barely scratched the surface. We are obviously so thrilled to have the singular and, and magnificent Angelina Jolie back again as Maleficent. So please welcome back to the stage our eternal leading lady, Angelina Jolie. The relationship between Maleficent and Aurora, played once again by Elle Fanning, is complicated by Philip's mother, Queen Ingrid played by the amazing Michelle Pfeiffer. In this movie, we also learn more about Maleficent's brethren, the Dark Fae, led by Chiwetel Ejiofor in the film. So Angie, how does all of this change the dynamic? I would never want to speak for them. So I think they should speak for themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, Elle Fanning, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Chiwetel Ejiofor. And now, from one epic tale to another, in March, we will bring Mulan to the screen. Thank you. 
in a spectacular new live action telling that draws from both the revered source material and Disney's classic animated interpretation. Mulan's story plays against a backdrop of immense scope and scale. Shot against the stunning backdrops of China and New Zealand, we brought in hundreds upon hundreds of background actors to bring these spectacular battle scenes to life. Yet the legend of this great warrior is also a deeply human story of a young woman discovering her true power. And we have found the perfect director to tell this intimate character drama on a grand scale in Nikki Caro. She is here today. Please help me welcome Mulan director, Nikki Caro. Now, before I go, I do have one more thing just for you. As we have explored some of these well-known classic stories from different perspectives, we've done only one that centers around the backstory of one of Disney's so-called great villains with Maleficent. That will change soon with Cruella. As we know her, she truly lives up to her name, but how did she get that way? And what made Cruella so cruel? Director Craig Gillespie and two fabulous Emmas, Emma Stone and Emma Thompson, will take us back to the early days of this notorious and notoriously fashionable diva. Moving on, or should I say onward, to the animation studios. <laughs> Since the first Toy Story, the brilliant minds at Pixar have delighted audiences with amazing worlds unique characters, and heartwarming stories. The conductor of the creative teams behind these films is, of course, one of those creatives himself. He is the director of Monsters, Inc., and Up, and Inside Out. His name is Pete Doctor, and he's a great guy. Is there a doctor in the house? Can't resist. Please welcome Pete Doctor. Hey, D23 Expo, I'm Pete. Um, <laughs> I have been up here before as a filmmaker, but not as the chief creative officer of Pixar. That, uh, yeah. 2020 is a very exciting time at Pixar because we have two original films coming out. That's two original films. And now I'm directing a film that asks the ultimate question that we've all thought about at one time or another. Why am I here? Where did I come from? And what am I here for? But, I mean, let's face it, who, who, who would make a cartoon about that? I mean, <laughs> metaphysics? <laughs> We're calling it soul. Um, <laughs> So to help me tell more about the film, please welcome some uh, friends of mine, members of our Soul Creative team, producer Dana Murray, co-director and writer Kemp Powers, and writer Mike Jones. And now, we would like to introduce you to some of the amazing cast that are bringing our characters to life. First up, we want to bring out the drummer from the jazz band you saw in the earlier clip. The character's name is Curly. He will be voiced by Questlove from The Roots and The Tonight Show. Ladies and gentlemen, Questlove. How you doing? Yeah. All right, next up we have Joe's loving mother, Libba, and she will be voiced by the great Felicia Rashad. Please welcome Felicia Rashad. D23! Yeah. Hello! <laughs> yeah. We're also going to meet Joe's neighborhood nemesis, Paul. He's going to be voiced by the amazing David Diggs from ABC's Blackish and, of course, the Broadway hit Hamilton. David Diggs, yeah. everybody. Woo! What's up, guys? 
As if these guys aren't amazing enough, we would like to introduce you to the voices of Joe Gardner and 22. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a D23 welcome to Jamie Foxx and Tina Fey. <laughs> Let's move onward to onward. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome producer Corey Ray and director Dan Scanlon. Yeah. Hey. This movie takes place in a modern fantasy world, and it tells the story of two elf brothers named Ian and Barley Lightfoot. Ian is an awkward teenager. He's smart and thoughtful, but he's shy and lacks confidence. And then Barley, his older brother, has like way too much confidence. <laughs> Barley is chaotic and wild and is, lives his life in the past, really, really, really far in the past. He longs for the days uh, of magic and quests. As you can see, uh, these two brothers are quite different from each other. Barley tends to cause Ian more trouble than good. And while Ian loves his brother, he doesn't want to be like him. And Ian has, uh, he's a little short on role models because his father passed away before Ian was born. More than anything in the world, Ian wishes he had just one chance to meet his dad. Please welcome to the stage Tom Holland and Chris Pratt. Wow. Woo. What's up, everybody? <laughs> uh, elf buddies and brothers um, need a, a mom. Uh, so we have another very important character in this film, the boy's mother, Laurel Lightfoot. We're extremely excited that Laurel will be voiced by the one and only Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Yeah. Come on out, Julia. Hey, hello. D23. Wow. So that brings us to Walt Disney Animation Studios. And they have some magic up their sleeves as well. Disney Animation, as you well know, is the cornerstone of our company. And it's where it all began. And with Chief Creative Officer Jennifer Lee at the helm, So great. The Disney animation team continues to make amazing films that resonate around the world. Jen herself is an amazing writer and director, as you know, with Frozen and Wreck-It Ralph among her credits. So Jen, Chief Creative Officer, the stage is yours. Today, as a D23 exclusive, I get to talk about next year's feature film from Disney Animation coming out Thanksgiving 2020. <laughs> it's from the incredible directors Paul Briggs and Dean Wellens, who are master story artists, who worked on some of the most poignant moments, Big Hero 6, Frozen, The Princess and the Frog, and Zootopia, just to name a few. It's also our producer, Osnat Shur, which you may know from Moana, she brought that to the screen. <laughs> and our incredible screenwriter, Adele Lim, who most recently wrote that little story you might have heard of called Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> so we're here to tell you about Raya and the Last Dragon. Please welcome Dean, Paul, Osnot, and Adele. <laughs> Jen. Playing the voice of our dragon is the star of Crazy Rich Asians and The Farewell. I'm thrilled to team up once again with the one, the only, Aquafina. Please welcome Cassie Steele and Aquafina.
There's one more film we'd like to talk about today. It's a little labor of love for us that's coming out this November 22nd in theaters. <laughs> oh, that one, yeah. In 2012, legendary animator and director Chris Buck invited me to join as writer and soon after director with him on a project inspired by the Snow Queen. Please welcome my mentor, collaborator, and partner, fellow director, Chris Buck. <laughs> I was afraid wow. they would make us sing. But no. <laughs> We're not going to sing. <laughs> we are excited to announce that voicing Anna and Elsa's mother is star of Westworld, Evan Rachel Wood. We also mentioned that our gang ventures to an enchanted forest. And there they encounter Lieutenant Matthias, who leads a group of soldiers who have been trapped in that forest since a fierce battle broke out over 30 years ago. Voicing Lieutenant Matias is none other than Emmy and Golden Globe winning star of This Is Us and Black Panther, Sterling K. Brown. So ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Emmy Rachel Wood and Sterling K. Brown. <laughs> so as we said in Frozen 2, our gang confronts change, and in the end, nothing will ever be the same. But luckily, some things never change. Like our incredible original cast for Frozen 1, back for Frozen 2, ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Groff, Adina Menzel, Kristen Bell, and Josh Gad! <laughs> Thank you. Thank Love you guys. You Thank you. Thank you, Cass. Thank you, D23. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful expo. We thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs>